welcome to From Field to Stream TV. In this program, we visit Sutherland with Andrew Hogg and Alan Liddell. And Alan is going to be teaching us how to use the deadly Turks Triantula. I hope you enjoy the program. You actually, you need to be in contact, direct contact with the fly all the time. And because it's such busy water, if you like, you don't have to worry about the fact that being too close to the fish. Because the main purpose is actually getting your fly to work with that dibbling action that you've got there, see? See how it's just dibbling right through the, the white foam? Now if there's fish in there, that action in itself will bring them up. What the good thing about that is that you can take it right into literally the heaviest of water, yeah? You can try and do this without falling in like. So essentially there's no cast at all, you can see I've just got Literally just the length of the fly line out by about four, two, three feet, and it's it's really just all my cast that's in the water. And I'm just working that as you would work a bob fly on a lock. And then just quarter my way across the pool and then just double that right up through. Now it's an all or nothing method, unfortunately so far today. It's not really worked very well, but you can work little pockets, all the little pockets, and so now these wee highland streams like this, even the, the heaviest of water. To be fair to you, actually, I don't think there's enough flow in this bit of water here to, to, to get this to work most effectively. I was explaining earlier, if you have migratory fish in the system, doing this through these wee holes and pockets, you don't know how deep that is. I mean, that could be two, three, four feet deep. If you're going to get a salmon or a sea trout on aggressive takes like this, this style, doing, it, doing this with this fly is exactly how you'll do it, as opposed to fishing upstream like a like a, like a dry fly, yeah. And like I say, you try and cover every single piece of this water. Then I worry about the fish being able to see you, because look, it's in that white water there, yeah. The chances are in these highland streams, generally, the fish are so aggressive that the fact that you're there or not doesn't make any difference. And you. And you work every little seam, yeah? Every wee bit with that fly. And you can see the legs in that fly kicking away like mad as you bring it through there. You can see it as you dibble, 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 dibble all the way. Right up through, yeah? I don't want to play in this wee pool today, unfortunately, but I can assure you that, um, I'm sure if you do that, Draw these pools and then different rivers, then uh, that'll work. I'm stuck in the stone now, so I did. I was trying to do it to Ed. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we'll cross over here now. <laughs> I'll get my fly back. So, what we're going to try here then, little rocky bit of the stream. Complicated water and all broken, broken water. And we're going to work this fly swinging through the fast water. Let it come all the way down through. Swinging through and then into the stream below me when I'm going to lift it and double it back. Failing that, what I can do is I'll throw a cross stream and we'll try that dibbling. Oh, there's my nermus. Try that dibbling action on the fly, bouncing it up through the through the fast water that can be so effective. It's it bouncing through there now. Fish nudged it out there, but it didn't take. Trying to just a fresh bit of water now, a little bit further on, yeah. Into the mainstream. Bounce it through. Nope. And you just keep working your way through. Through the pool, down through the pool, giving it that highly attractive. Mobile bobbing, dibbling action on the fly. I'm running for sure the trout, it's not a worry that they can't see it. 
takes are generally aggressive. Right through the entire fish in all the water. Pay attention all the time so you don't miss them like I just done there. There we are. Fish actually leaping clean out of the water to take that fly. As I said, the takes are always generally exceptionally aggressive. This is a little trout, so we'll swing it into hand. We're going to let this one go quickly, so I don't want to touch the trout at all. If I did, I would obviously wet my hands. And I'm just going to lean over the pool and flick it off. There we go. So that shows and proves that working this style of fly, keeping it mobile, crossing down and then straight up, throw the likely lies, brings these fish out. Brings these fish out all the likely areas that they, you can find them in. So we'll try that again, there's another quicker stream just directly below us here. And just bounce it through here. It's an all or nothing style of fishing. The good thing is, as I said already, you can cover a lot of water quickly. And I've always found that if you don't get anything right away, then don't mess around trying to trying to make a bit of water work. Just keep working. Just keep going. Hot cop hunting. And bouncing. Cover every inch of that river that you can get your flies through. Cover it quickly. Well that was certainly an action packed afternoon up in the hills of Sutherland. And the Turks Triantula proved itself to be a wonderful fly to use. And if you check through the films below you will see exactly how Alan dresses the fly.